with our first attempt at a recover bowl. Now we're going to look at something like this. So square, a uh, little lip on the end, round belly, um, and then some, some rounded legs that come out of that. Just, um, we, we've done a machined bowl a little bit like this in the past, and um, it worked quite well. So this will just be the first attempt of quite a simple design. Um, and it'll look something like this, uh, depending on some measurements and stuff that you choose. So in your new tab, you're going to just go and create a sketch and put it down on the bottom of your thing. Okay, and we're going to do everything that we build on this. We're going to do from the center of the page outwards. Um, and, and over time, you'll realize why we do that. So start off with a center diameter circle. Click in the center and come across. <coughs> now these measurements are important. Um, but for your basic designing, they won't be too important. You'll get really good at this, and you'll be able to make new ones all the time. Let's just say 200 wide, maybe a small to medium-sized bowl, that would be. Um, oh, it'd be actually quite a small bowl. That's fine. Um, we can change those things later. Uh, so we've got our bowl shape. Now if we look at, from the top view, we've got that. But if we look at from the bottom view, We've got that, and we're going to draw this shape first. So we've got our circle. We're going to do another center circle here. Say so from that point there to that point there. We've got a bit of a circle there. And we're also going to do the square part that the feet attach to. So we'll do a rectangle, center point rectangle, and create a bit of a square around that circle. Now what that's done <coughs> is actually over, overhung the circle a bit. We can just grab our scissors and we can actually cut. And you might have to zoom in quite a while. And cut these bits off. There we go. And that bit. Oops. I'll undo that. Just because I cut the wrong piece there. Um, that bit. And that bit there. Cool. So now we've got. That's the right shape there. Um. Now we've got one of them, and instead of hand drawing all these, we can just go down into circular pattern under create, click on the things that we want to replicate, and then those are our objects. Then our center point is going to be that. So now we've got oh, my screen's being a bit funny. We've got three. I can't zoom out unfortunately, but we want to make lots more. So I can actually type something in there, and I think for the last one I typed twelve. It gave me twelve legs. So I can click OK on that, and then what I've got is something similar to the bottom view of this. So we'll finish that sketch, and we've got this basic shape. Now, we're going to extrude um, the feet out, essentially. So we'll click on Extrude, and I'm actually just going to highlight everything but I don't want the middle part. So now if I click the middle part, it'll actually get rid of that bit and it'll just leave me with the bits that I want. Let's go up, say, 20 or 25, whatever you like to do. Let's go 25 for now and see what it looks like. Um, now, that's just given us the squares, but if we go and look in our sketches here, click on that arrow and the eyeball, um, we can see that sketch again. We can bring it back. And we can do another extrusion, this time with our circles. So let's manually this time select all our circles, which isn't too hard. And then let's bring these out. Let's change the view down the bottom, something like that. I'm going to go 25 again. And join, that looks good. So I'll click OK on that. And then, oops. And then... You can see this starting to take shape now. Now we need to make a bit of a bowl here, and it looks like it looks a bit funny how it is, but we can easily make a bowl here using our inside circle again. So I'm going to do one more extrude. This time I'm going to select everything and not get rid of our middle part. So if we get up here, uh, say 25 to match there. And this time I'm going to change this to two sides. And then I can bring it, the other arrow down. And see what it's doing is it's going to look to cut through all the bits that we've made. If 
if we change it from cut to new body, we've got a big solid cake shape. Click OK, and you can see within that cake shape uh, those squares and the feet somewhere. Now we'll be able to bring them back really easily soon. I'm going to hide that sketch because we don't need it anymore. And this bottom edge there, if we do a fillet on it, so fillet toll up there on that edge, and round that off, we get the shape of the, the cover bowl here. Now what I've noticed here is that I've actually brought the belly down a bit too far here, and the legs don't go quite as long as that. So I'm going to click OK on that fillet anyway, and I'm just going to go back in my history to that extrude, double click on that, and I just won't bring it down just as far. So I'll bring it back up there, click OK, and it'll process that. Um, and it's been a slight issue. Let's go back into that again and see what's wrong here. That looks fine. Hmm, interesting. This shouldn't be happening. I don't really know what's happened there, so if you get that error, you shouldn't get that error, so that shouldn't happen to you. If you do, have a bit of a play around in your history to see if you can fix it like I did, but that shouldn't have happened. Um, now we can see that these legs are all separate to our body, but we can combine them by clicking on Combine Tool. That's our target body, and our tool body is all the legs, and instead of selecting them all manually, let's highlight them all again, and it's on Join, and click OK. Now you can see that that's actually joined up together. Now all we need really is our, our bowl in this portion here. So we're going to do a new sketch on the top and do a center point circle. Let's bring it out to say, let's just say 160 for now. See what that looks like. Click finish and we can extrude this one downwards. We just have to be careful we don't cut go down too far and cut too far. So let's click OK on that and see what it looks like. Okay, cool, we haven't gone right through, that's, that's good. Now we can just click our fillet tool and fillet the inside of our bowl. Uh, and you can just do this however you think looks nice. Uh, it's just a bit of a design feature that you can decide on. Click OK there and we've got a bit of a bowl um, but Looks a little bit funny, and you can see if we look at these bowls, they've actually got little rimmed edges on them. Not all of them do, but um, like that one doesn't. It's a computer render as well, anyway. But a lot of them have these ribbed e um, edges, and I think it might look a bit cooler with that. So up to you, but let's do this. Give it a go, um, and then you can decide later. Uh, we're going to create a sketch on the top of our bowl. Draw a circle from the center again. We're just going to go out a little bit further than this one and click finish. Get our extrude tool. We're going to click that outside rim and this rim. And let's bring it up, say, 10 mil. Click OK. And our bowl has a bit more form to it. It looks a little bit nicer than what it did before. Um, and this is just a bit of a starting point. You might start thinking about what designs you could do if you took out a leg. Um, some of them have it. It'll take a bit of research from you. Um, but some of them have these designs here on the front. Um, but what we'll do is we'll leave that one for now, and I might do another one for you of a different style bowl to follow. And then it's your job to research uh, the bowls that you want to make and the shapes you want to do, and use some of the tools that you've learned in this to make your own designs based off um, your research.